we want to get back to the other big story today, and that is the Treasury Department conference on how to fix uh, those two finance giants that we've been talking about, Fannie and Freddie. Joining us to talk about that, two guests who have ideas. Michael Calhoun chairs the Fed's Consumer Advisory Council and is the president of the Center for Responsible Lending, a nonprofit which says it's dedicated to eliminating abusive financial practices. He was at the mortgage conference today. Also with us is former Republican Congressman Steve Bartlett. He served on the Banking Committee and is now president and CEO of the Financial Services Roundtable, which represents the 100 largest financial service services companies. Uh, gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Let me start by asking about uh, Bill Gross's take that we should nationalize Fannie and Freddie. Steve, what do you think about that? Uh, well, I think I think that we're virtually already nationalized. That is, most of the money, 90 uh, percent of the money, is coming from the federal government today. Uh, I don't think I don't think we will or should nationalize Fannie and Freddie. They're already nationalized. I think what we should do is privatize the companies to allow companies, GSEs, if you will, to fail if they uh, if they if they go out of business or if they lose money. But then to provide a reinsurance pool for the mortgages themselves or the or the uh, securities themselves, so that the so that the mortgage holders can get a third year mortgage going into the future. It's good news is that Treasury and the Congress is now getting to this, that this is a reform that's long overdue, and it looks like we'll get something uh, sometime next year. Michael, do you think, I mean, from the Center for Responsible Lending, does that make sense to you to have the government uh, give an explicit guarantee to um, mortgage lenders? I think one of the surprising things coming out of the conference today was that there was a consensus that not just in the short term, but in the long run, there needed to be an explicit government guarantee of at least mainstream mortgages. And so the question comes more of how the delivery device is set up, whether who controls those entities. Our main uh, principles are you need to have that backstop, particularly in a downturn like we have now. Uh, most people wouldn't be able to get mortgages but for the government involvement right now. It needs to support housing goals, affordable housing goals. And there need to be protections against concentrations in this market. Already we have three uh, of the largest banks providing about 60 percent of the mortgages in this country. And one concern we have is that the structure not increase that concentration because we believe that the competition will produce better results right. for consumers. Steve, got 20 seconds before you have to take a break. Address that about the increased or, or the greater concentration in just a few banks uh, that uh, Michael was just well, talking about. Yeah, I think we ought to have a system that has greater competition and more access to uh, availability. So anyone should, any bank or any mortgage lender should be able to provide the uh, the security, if you will, and the mortgage, and then securitize it uh, through the uh, through the GSE market. Uh, I d we don't want to guarantee the companies. We do want to provide a backstop for the securities themselves. All right.